Hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of. If you're joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thanks for taking the time to click on this White Barn slash Bath and Body Works candle reviews. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, as always, welcome on back. As always, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I keep saying this, but I cannot believe I'm already reviewing um, Thanksgiving candles, pre-holiday candles, holiday preview candles. This year is going by very, very quickly. Uh, I hope all of you have been able to take some time to um, enjoy some of your fall candles, your Thanksgiving candles. Um, holiday is right around the corner. So I hope each and every one of you has been able to have some downtime and, um, and are able to enjoy your fall burns. All right, enough about that. Um, let's dive into today's video. This is gonna be a dual review. Like I said, some of you probably already saw my Bath & Body Works haul. I did do cold sniff first impressions of both of these candles, Welcome Home and Thanks and Giving. I've actually had time to burn both of them and I want to review both of them for you today. If you're interested in just one or the other, check the description of my video. I will have each candle time stamped for when the review starts. We're gonna kick it off though with welcome home because um there's been some chirpings that this might be a repackage on another scent and i want to give you guys my thoughts on it without further ado let's jump into today's video i'm going to kick it off as i always do with the scent notes of welcome home i'll throw them up on the screen for you guys the scent notes of welcome home include cinnamon sugar warm apple butter clove buds and brown sugar so rumor on the street has it that Welcome Home is a repackage of Cinnamon Pretzel Twist. Uh, I didn't even realize that when I purchased this candle. Um, some of you had commented on my Instagram, uh, on my YouTube video when I did the unboxing of both of these fragrances. And um, to be honest with you, when I originally opened both of these candles, I really thought Welcome Home was gonna be my favorite of the two. It's not a bad scent by any means, and I can 1000% see where all of you are coming from saying it either smells like bread, um, you get you know full on cinnamon pretzel twist slash spice it up. I'll throw a picture up on the screen if I haven't already of spice it up. Uh, oddly enough, I reviewed Spice It Up when it first came out like several, several years ago. I thought it was the most unique candle ever. To me, I distinctly remember it smelling like Auntie Anne's pretzels. Like when you walk into a mall, you get the salty cinnamon sugar pretzel. Um, do I think Welcome Home smells exactly like Spice It Up? Uh, no. And that might just be because I remember Spice It Up being very, very strong. Um, very much so like evidently a pretzel fragrance. To me with Welcome Home, I do get like the breadiness with a little bit of cinnamon. Um, with Welcome Home though, I do get a little more clove. I get a little bit more warmth. I get more of a muted scent. It's not as intense. Um, if this is a repackage, it's not as intense as I remember it. Does this scream Thanksgiving or holiday? Not really. And I'm actually really surprised because I, I like I said, I thought I would like this one better of the two. Would I repurchase this again? Maybe, just because it does smell very, very similar to Spice It Up. If you like gourmand scents that aren't over the top, like ooey gooey, disgustingly sweet, um, and do have like a bit more of that bread, kind of hearty warmth to it, you might want to check this one out. Um, the throw on this was actually surprisingly not as strong as I would have expected. Um, I have it obviously going in an open room, one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. It's it's coming in at like a seven, seven and a half. Um, but I just thought it was going to be a little more intense for whatever reason. Um, it's definitely noticeable, very warm, very welcoming. I think the name is fitting, but it just doesn't scream Thanksgiving. I've tried Welcome Home or if you've burned even spice it up in the past, Leave in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are and let me know if you plan to repurchase this one. We are going to now move on to thanks and giving. Let me get the candle set up, pull up the scent notes and we'll review this one. And next up is thanks and giving. Let me kick it off with the scent notes. I'll put them up on the screen. Scent notes include juicy red apple, gooey caramel, praline pieces. So oddly enough, like I said, I really kind of um, overestimated and kind of flip-flopped what candle preference I thought I would enjoy out of these two. I thought I would love Welcome Home, 
and I thought thanks and giving was going to be just too caramel apple-y for me. Um, but after burning thanks and giving, you guys, it's really pretty. Um, it's not a super intense caramel. It's not over the top by any means. I don't think it's caramel apple. Um, so if any of you were worried that it's going to be overly intense, it's not. It's incredibly, incredibly pleasant. Getting into the throw of things in giving. So as I said, um, it's not an over-the-top caramel apple scent. So you're probably wondering, well, what does it smell like when it is throwing? Um, what I really get is just a really yummy, um, not sickeningly sweet caramel with a little bit of almost a poached apple. Um, it's really beautiful. I really get, to me, I get very much so like a poached apple vibe with a little bit of like brown sugar. Um, you definitely get that that kind of ooey gooey. It would almost better described as like a buttery kind of smooth caramel. Um, it's not an ooey gooey super sweet caramel. It's very much so like a buttery caramel really beautiful scent. Throw one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. The throw on this one in an open room is like a solid eight. Um, I don't want to quite say eight and a half, but it's very noticeable. At least for me, it traveled. It was very evident that I had a, um, a caramel apple candle going. Uh, very yummy. I think the name is super fitting, things and giving. If you are going to be hosting like a Thanksgiving party or having people over for dinner, um, or you just want like a really good, yummy quasi bakery scent, um, I would definitely check this one out. Uh, it's very much so has a fall vibe. It has the warmth as a fall candle should, and it has that yummy kind of gourmand note that a lot of us gourmand lovers like. So would I repurchase Thanks and Giving again? Yes, absolutely, I would. I don't know if they came out with a wallflower plug of this one, but this is one I would definitely get in a wallflower plug if it was available. And that, that is it, you guys, on my dual review Bath & Body Works slash White Barn Welcome Home plus Thanks and Giving. If you have used either of these two fragrances, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are or let me know what you guys are burning right now. Before I sign off, I do also want to let you know I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. That is it for me today, you guys. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.